I do not feel empathetic toward Kim Kardashian in general. <laughs> I've been going on a tear over her for the past couple of days because every I time I open my paper, there she is again. And I find it deeply alarming. Like, what are we celebrating? Her enormous fake ass, her yes. extreme yes, we are, plastic Megan. surgery. No, no, we're, she's no. not writing. I she's not writing the media. stories, though. Yes. She's not yeah. writing no. the stories. I, I'll say this. Like, oh, met, she is <laughs> too. Ready to stop it right now. She Here is. She has orchestrated every single one of the photographs you've ever seen. There isn't one the that was organic. Every single time, the paparazzi <laughs> has been called by her and lured to the location, and then she shows the bottom, and then she photoshops <laughs> it, and then she denies that she's done any of that shit. And then little girls all over America are like, oh, why isn't my bottom five times the size that it is without any surgery whatsoever? I must be inadequate. And then you say, no, sweetheart, you're not. And every mother across America says, no, sweetheart, sweetheart, you're not. But they continue to see these absurd, obscene images of her. And then she's like, oh, you know, I, I'm sad that my, my children's school was mentioned by Kanye. You're the one who puts them on camera at every turn. It wasn't enough that you exploited yourself and you put out your own sex tape. We all know it and then well, pretended yeah. to be a victim about it but now you've got your kids at every public event you put their faces on the camera almost as much as you put your own face on the camera to the point where your kids are trying to hide when you bring them to the fashion shows they don't want to be public figures so I don't feel sorry for her <laughs> now, now, do you like Kim Kardashian? Yeah. I just I don't kind of get it sort of make sure that people understand but is, is it you're a fan of her work? My uh, daughter I actually watched uh, the show with my daughter, who was like, uh, can we watch it? And she's 11. And incidentally, she's never said, uh, why is my ass not like that? Just yeah. in fairness. But she, never said she thinks it. Never said it. She thinks it. Yeah, she's a very good gymnast. Know. And that would be a difficult thing as a gymnast. But uh, she watched it and made fun of them the entire time. So that's when I realized that I just uh, it. was yeah. not doing a terrible job as a parent because she watched this and was like, these people are absolutely ridiculous. I did once, by the way, um, it was assigned something for Newsweek, and it's in an old issue of Newsweek, where I watched the show. I had never seen it before, and I made the mistake of telling an editorial meeting that I hadn't. So they made me go uh, watch it and write about it. And uh, I came to a slightly different conclusion. The first thing, by the way, is I got the neurovirus right the day I started watching it. So I spent the entire time <laughs> watching it and vomiting, which is, was absolutely perfect. <laughs> and uh, it's absolutely true, by the way. And I watched the other end and I was like, you know, I mean, credit for being great business people. Not great role models, Megan. I don't think they're great role models. But, you know, I mean, people like it. I don't know what they're selling. I don't understand it. I don't pretend to understand it. But you know, and you know, she she was good with uh, Trump and you know getting some people out of prison, which um, which I thought was there were I, people total credit on so. Alice Marie Johnson. I do, I get that, and I'm mm -hmm. not saying she's never done good things, and I and I said that many times. You're talking about her. It, ass. There's there's ass. Kim Kardashian <laughs> the person, <laughs> and then there's Kim Kardashian the brand, and the brand is dangerous. I'm telling you, the the Kardashian brand is dangerous. I, it's I'll done say, way more harm than good to young girls across this country, and continues to grow and become more influential. I mean. I will tell you, I, I've said this story in the air. My daughter and her little friend were in my bathroom with me one morning. I was getting ready and I was putting on my makeup. And um, the, the other little girl said, oh, is that is that by Kim Kardashian, <laughs> the makeup? And I was like, when I gave her the side eye, like, <laughs> no, it's not. And my daughter said, she goes, who's Kim Kardashian? And uh, I said to her, I do not meet... I do not wish to be the person who introduces this woman into your life. You know, yeah. <laughs> I, I really think that this group of people, and I don't think they have evil hearts. I want to say that again. It's different from, you know, some other bad guys in the news. But that brand has grown to the point where I think newspapers need to be really careful about splashing those photos all over the pages with impunity because I do think we're setting a terrible example for our young kids. I mean, I don't, I don't want to belabor this. Um, I'll, I'll say this. I, <laughs> I met, I met Kim. I met Kim once, um, and, and her mom actually. Um, and I'll say this: like the conversation that we had was about like her work in criminal justice reform. It was about her efforts um, with programs like the Innocence Project. Like she's she's incredibly bright. There's a very real sense in which the sexualization mm. and all that other stuff; those are legitimate things that one could take issue with. Uh, but I think it's worth acknowledging that there are other ways that they could be covered. These women, this family, like they're moguls. They've built businesses, like legitimate Based businesses that don't nothing. have anything to do with those kind of Based other on nothing. things. Based on nothing. 
They're brilliant marketers. Trust me, Camille. I know, I know they, the family. I went out there and interviewed all of them. Uh -huh. um, I, and I did my homework before I did that, as I do with everything. And th they are marketing masters. And I get it. They're in the beauty business. Which is something. But yeah. they have built an empire. But they've built an empire based on absolutely nothing. No talent. It started with her sex tape, which her own mother, according to the man in the document, the the, the film with her. I've seen it. Yeah. Um, put out there <laughs> with their consent. No, I mean, it's, I've seen Ray J talk about it. Take it easy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him oh, talk oh. about it. I don't watch that. I mean, what you do in your own time is up to you. <laughs> really, the, the patriarchy is not working because Ray J did not get famous from that. I still don't know who he is. Well, this, Ray J was already yeah. a little famous. He was more famous with her front than her at the time that was made. But I think that's another yeah. point that their marketing and it's it's again all of the kind of general all the general criticism about the sex tape about the over sexualization et cetera, all fair. But there are plenty of people who make sex tapes and plenty of people who might be physically attractive who haven't been able to eke out the kind of success that they have. Like, it's kind of an extraordinary only in America story <laughs> for better or worse. Well, and what true. it says about America might not be terribly nice, but I don't think that's their fault. I mean, there's a very kind oh, of God. long history no, of this, this sort is, of thing, this, this whether is it's Marilyn Bridget Monroe Fantasy was or Bridget Fantasy said, blame the players or blame, blame the game, not the players. And I really thought about it. It was just last week. I blame both. I mean, I, I really okay. did. I, the game is wrong and the players are wrong. The, play, the players do not get excused for being disgusting players. Go ahead, Camille. Mm. No, I'll say, I'll, I'll say fair. Fair. I, look, I, I don't, I I don't want to belabor it. I, you know, I get, I get the point. And, and also, you know, I said that positive things about their business acumen, um, there's a negative things to be said about it too. I mean, Kim Kardashian was just fined over a million and a half dollars, or yeah. maybe two million dollars boosting, for boosting promoting crypto. fake crypto for being stuff. A tax cheat. Yeah. And there's been a bunch of things, you know, uh, those like, uh, credit card stuff and apps that mm -hmm. kind of charge the parents. And so they've been involved in some, some dodgy stuff too. But the thing to think about with them is, you know, did they usher in an era or was this an era because of technology that was inevitable? Because right now, if you talk to young people, the Kardashians are, they know who they are. They don't care about them too much. And there's a whole bunch of new people on TikTok in particular that they're obsessed with. And like, I talk, mm -hmm. I've talked to a bunch of like young girls about this stuff for a piece that I did. And they're like, oh, this guy, and he's got 25. I'm like, I've never heard of any of these people. These kind of like, like they're not even micro celebrities because they're macro celebrities. They have unbelievable followings and it's are, all those are the those are the women who came after the, yes they, no that's what i'm wondering are is it disciples. A chicken, would that have happened anyway because yeah, of technology i, I don't because, know you know, i yeah. don't know but the, these women have 100 million followers on instagram probably more that was back when i interviewed them in 17 or 18 i mean i'm yeah, sure it's exactly. greater than that now um and i'm sure a lot of them are bought and paid for and all that but still the number's got to be huge if it's up you know at those levels and they they are at the heart of selfie culture. When you see these girls going out to lunch with each other and instead of just enjoying each other across the table, they're taking their own picture in 50 different ways instead <laughs> of watching the sports game or the movie or the band, they're making it about themselves and doing their stupid fake poses. I blame the Kardashians. Not entirely, but hugely. They had a huge role in it. They're all about selfies and the way they look and extreme inappropriate false vanity. It drives me insane they're a force for evil in the country. Who's the antidote? I mentioned the Queen of England the other day. Like, who? Wh where is the distinguished, smart, fierce, patriotic, you know, businesswoman who we can point to as the anti-Kardashian? We don't have that. We don't revere women like that in this country. We take the big ass big boob <laughs> women, and we give them a total pass for what they've done to the children. If they manage to get a great woman like Alice Marie Johnson out of jail, by the way, Kim Kardashian did not do that herself. Okay, there were a lot of other no, people. No, not on her Ultimately, own. it was and Donald she Trump. Would, she'd be the but first she called to attention that, to it. So that, yeah. was a, that was a blessing. I agree. That was a good thing she did. It was a mitzvah. But it doesn't come <laughs> close to overshadowing all the other stuff that she's done to hurt other girls, in particular, the young ones. Do you ever wonder if your vitamins are working? Right? He's like, what are they? Are they doing anything? Clinical studies show Healthy Cell's new ingestible gel technology called Microgel delivers maximum nutrient absorption, 165% more than tablets. Isn't that what you want? Maximum nutrient absorption. It tastes great too. It's hard to make vitamin liquids or gels taste good naturally, but Healthy Cell products are the best tasting pill free supplements on the market. Go pill free 
and get up to 15 pills worth of nutrients in one ultra absorption gel pack, saving you money and time and giving you effective doses in the process. Take a single great tasting gel pack at home or on the go. It's great for travel. You can mix it into drinks or blend it into smoothies. Old fashioned tablets, capsules, powders, they contain synthetic other ingredients, such as binding glues, flow agents, fillers, and coatings that could irritate your gut. Plus, this is made in the USA. Visit HealthyCell.com slash Megan or code Megan when you check out for 20% off your first order. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.